Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about flexor tendon pulley system and bowstring phenomenon. Before we start, there is a disclaimer and the disclaimer is the same in all my videos. Thank you. Now let's begin. Regarding anatomy of the flexor tendon sheath, it is a synovial line, fibro-osseous tunnel, with segmental condensations of fibrous tissue. These fibrous bands or pulleys are 1. The palmar aponeurosis pulley that is formed by the transverse fibers of the palmar aponeurosis. Number 2. 5 annular pulleys and number 3. 3 cruciform pulleys. Anatomy of the digital flexor sheath is a complex structure through which the flexor tendons of the fingers run. The sheath is composed of two distinct tissue components. A. A synovial or membranous component. And B. A retinacular or pulley component. The synovial or membranous component or we call it parts, is composed of visceral and parietal layers. It carries the flexor digitorum profundus, FDP, and flexor digitorum superficialis, FDS, in the distal aspect of the hand. The flexor pulley system is formed of the retinocular component which condensates and are arranged in cruciform, annular pulleys, and transverse patterns. These structures overlie the membranous or synovial lining. The digital sheath serve following functions. 1. Facilitate smooth gliding of the tendons. 2. Pulleys from the retinacular component provide a mechanical advantage to flexion. 3. Synovial fluid bath and provide nutrition. Again, regarding the components of the flexor tendon pulley system. Regarding A or 1, palmar aponeurosis pulley. It is formed of transverse fascicular bands approximately 1 cm in width arising from the palmar aponeurosis. The proximal edge of the pulley is 1 to 3 mm proximal to the origin of membranous tender sheath and the distal edge is approximately 8 to 10 mm from the proximal edge of the first annular pulley. A vertical septum anchors this pulley to the deep transverse metacarpal ligament beneath the tendons. This pulley moves closer to the tendon surface during grasping due to increased tension on the palma fascia by the flexor capillaris FCU and palmaris longus muscles. B. Annular pulleys. The annular pulleys can be divided further into those which insert into bone, a true fibro-osseous pulleys, and those which insert into the bola plate. The A2 and A4 pulleys are the true fibro-osseous pulleys. It is the largest, thickest, and most constant pulleys. The A2 and A4 pulleys are the strongest pulley withstanding the greatest force during the pinch and grabs. The other annular pulleys, that is A1, A3, A5, are more flexible and allow for compression during flexion without impinging on the tendons. The anatomical position of pulleys and their relative insertion can be seen in the figure above. Regarding A1 pulley, it is the first annular pulley which arises from the palmar plate and proximal portion of the proximal phalanx. It is at the level of metacarpophalangeal joint, MCPG, MCPJ, and is approximately 8 mm in width. The proximal edge of the first annular pulley 
lies about 2 cm from the proximal finger crease and distal edge of A1 pulleys lies about 1 cm from the proximal finger crease. At the level of A1 pulley, the FDS flexor digitorum superficialis bifurcates and allow flexor digitorum profundus FDP to pass superficial. This pulley is frequently involved in trigger finger. In A2 pulley, the second annular pulley originates from periosteum of the proximal and lateral areas of the proximal phalanx and is approximately 20 mm in width. This pulley consists of oblique fibers and is of all the flexor tender sheets. This pulley is the most important pulley. For A3 pulley, D is the third annular pulley and is located at the level of proximal interphalangeal joint, PIPJ. It arises from the vola palma plate and is approximately 3 mm in wind. For A4 pulley, it arises from periosteum of mid portion of the middle, fin middle phalanx. It is similar to a4 pulley that oblique fibers overlie the annular fibers. It is about 7 mm in width. It is considered the second most important flexor tendon sheath. For A5 pulley, this pulley is located proximal to the distal interphalangeal joint, DIPJ, just proximal to the termination of the membranous sheath. With a width of 4 mm, the A5 pulley is the thinnest of the five annular pulleys. For C, cruciform pulleys, or also known as cruciate pulleys, there are three pulleys that function as to prevent sheath collapse and expansion during the digital movement. In C1 pulley, this cruciate pulley lies just distal to the A2 pulley. In C2 pulley, this pulley is located in the space between the A3 and A4 pulleys. Lastly, for C3 pulley, this pulley is located distal to the A4 pulley through a number of variations has been described. Next, I am going to discuss regarding the flexor tendon pulley system of the thumb. The thumb has a separate flexor tendon pulley system. The flexor sheet of the thumb originates from proximal to the radius tyloid in the wrist and carries the single FPL, flexor policy's longest tendon. The retinocular system consists of three separate pulley overlying the membranous sheath. These are 1. A1 pulley, 2. Oblique pulley, 3. A2 pulley. Number 1. In A1 pulley, the first annular pulley is located at the level of the metacarpophalangeal joint, MCPG. It is approximately 1 cm wide and originates from the vola plate and base of the proximal phalanx. Number 2. Oblique pulley. This pulley overlies the flexor sheath at the mid portion of the proximal phalanx. Oblique pulley originates at proximal half of the proximal phalanx about 10 mm in length and blends with a portion of the adductor policies insertion. It is the most important pulley in thumb which facilitate full excursion of the flexor policies longus FPL and prevents bolstering of the flexor policies longus FPL. Number 3, A2 pulley. The second annular pulley is 1 cm in width and attached to the vola plate of the interphalangeal joint, IPJ. Overall, the flexor tendon pulley system is function A A to maintain flexor tendon close to the joint axis of motion, B to prevent bowstringing of the tendons, C allow transfer of the necessary forces for pinch and grabs. What is bowstring phenomenon? And what is the mechanism involved in this bowstring? 
it occur because of rupture of injury or injury to the A2 and A4 pulley resulting in a loss of torque at the distal interphalangeal joint DIPJ and proximal interphalangeal joint PIBJ. These ruptures can occur when a sudden extension of the digit is preceded by a large external load onto the flex digit as in rock climbing or martial art accident. A bowstring action is seen and in which the affected fingers fail to flex fully and is associated with pain or discomfort. This is accompanied by a decrease in the work excursion efficiency. I want to quote from Mitsionis G et al. 1999, whereby they studied and investigated the effect of partial excision of the A2 and A4 digital pulleys separately or in combination on the finger angular rotation and energy for finger flexion. In this study, they conclude that there is significant decrease in angular rotation after 50% and 75% excision of A2, A4 or A2 and A4 in combination. The work of flexion trends were weak and none of the changes are statistically significant. This data also suggests that the A2 and A4 pulleys can be excised up to 25% either separately or in combination without significant effects on angular rotation. Another study from Tang JB et al. in 2001, they studied the effects of A3 pulley and adjacent sheath integrity on tendon excursion and bow stringing at the proximal interphalangeal joint PIPJ. In, it was investigated in 21 fingers in 7 fresh frozen cadaveric hands. Tendon bow stringing was 0.3 mm after incision of the A3 pulley. 0.6 mm after incision of A3 pulley with distal sheath. 0.8 mm after incision of the pulley at its proximal sheath, 1.4 mm after incision of the sheath from the A3 and A4 pulleys, and 1.6 mm after incision of the sheath between A2 and A4 pulleys. The result suggests that the sheath adjacent to the A3 pulleys plays an important role in restraining the tendon bowstringing at the proximal interphalangeal joint, BIPJ, whereas the A3 pulley alone is of little importance. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you have learned something from this video. See you next time. Take care and bye.